Item number SCP-2805 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-2805 is to be contained within a cryonic containment unit located within Site-77. No personnel are permitted to directly view SCP-2805 and must do all observation through closed-circuit cameras. Any Foundation employees who have worked on or around SCP-2805 and subsequently leave employment of the Foundation are to be monitored. Any foreign personnel who worked with SCP-2805 are to be prevented from taking up employment with the Walt Disney Company. Description SCP-2805 is a severed head of American industrialist Walt Disney, held in suspended animation within a cryonic freezer. Attached to the freezer are two World 3 telephones circa 1966, Analysis of the cryonic device has been hampered by the fragility of the device and the effect SCP-2805 has on personnel who speak to it. On the base of the cryonic device, the words Siberian Solutions from the Honorary Collective, note, believed to be connected to SCP-2028 and SCP-1498, have been embossed. When a human subject is able to physically view SCP-2805, they will receive a phone call within 24 hours. Note, SCP-2805 does not exhibit any changes in status during this time. The individual making the call claims to be Walt Disney, who will talk to the subject at length about their hopes for the future, their desires, and the Epcot portion of the Walt Disney World Amusement Park. Digital analysis has confirmed that the voice on the other end of the line sounds identical to recordings of Walt Disney's voice circa 1965. Phone calls were traced to various locations owned by the Disney Corporation. Occasionally, during these calls, unidentified individuals can be heard demanding to be allowed to talk to the subject. SCP-2805 will usually ignore them, but on occasion it has asked the subject to wait. During these times, a sound described by subjects as frozen insects hitting glass can be heard. Before SCP-2805 resumes conversation, apologizing for delays from unimaginative souls. SCP-2805 was discovered on September 18th, 1967, when several secretaries for executives within the Disney Corporation repairing calls from SCP-2805, after an executive with the board of directors was called, he began to spend significant amounts of time with the original Epcot plans, and eventually began to petition strongly for fashioning the Epcot Park as an industrial center, similar to how Walt Disney had designed it. Foundation personnel intervened once the phenomenon was recognized as legitimate, and SCP-2805 was discovered within a hit reductive Ribbon. It was contained on February 16th, 1968, and classified as Euclid. On April 25th, 1968, SCP-2805 began calling Foundation personnel. Addendum, Interview Log 2805A, Interviewed, SCP-2805, Interviewer, Agent Smith. Forward, SCP-2805 called Agent Smith while the latter was involved in interviewing SCP Beep, familiar with SCP-2805's documentation, Agent Smith carried out an impromptu interview with SCP-2805. Begin log. Hello, am I coming through? Yes, can I, uh, ask who this is? My name is Walt. I'm terribly sorry for calling without any forewarning. Is this a bad time? No, no, uh, please. Sounds of people's ruff shuffling. Please continue. Well, if you got the time, I'd like to talk to you about a project I had in the works. I've got all the time in the world, sir. I call it the uh, Florida Project. 
It's an experimental prototype for a future community. It's a place where the modern haptic world won't be a bother. A place where future technologies could be deployed. And then to the world. Unfortunately, I left my plans in the hands of people who didn't share my vision. Who? Marty. I hired him to work in newspaper, and after my, uh, illness, which I shall not go into, he was placed in charge of the Florida project. Well, that's what I called it. But they couldn't do it. All my imagineers, brilliant men, but they couldn't do it. Couldn't do what exactly? The vision. None of them grasped it. I thought with the film, it was very explicit. But it didn't come across to them. I wanted a community of tomorrow, but they gave me a world's fear. Sclear, Marty, he was a wonderful boy. But he got it wrong. I'm uh, sorry to hear that. Is there anything I can do for you? Marty couldn't do it, but he's not my only recourse. Other people can. Maybe you. Me. I had a great vision for a place to save the modern world from congestion and horrible crowded noisiness. I want a place my grandchildren can grow up in. Do you see what I mean? Yes, but I uh, don't think you're coming to the right guy. Oh, but I am. How do you figure? Your organization, sir. I can say with honesty that I understand everything you do. But you've got quite a pull. And you're certainly a mile ahead of the technology sector. You can do it. I don't think... I need you to help me. I have a delivery system for my message. Built on the backs of unimaginative dreams and parasites. I'm using them so that we can build a better tomorrow. Can you dream it? I don't know. If you can't dream it, you can do it. And long.